Hi there, welcome to this tutorial on how to debug JavaScript. In this tutorial, we will make use of Google Chrome uh, and the developer tools of Google Chrome to debug JavaScript programs. And we'll also look at how to use breakpoints and how to uh, you, how how we can check the uh, values of variables while the program is running. I mean, we we were all there. I mean, we write a small program and we don't really get the expected output, and we don't understand why. I write a small method here, uh, calculate sum, and uh, if it didn't return the expected output, then how do I really find out what's going wrong? The uh, key to that is uh, knowing how to debug, and let's uh, look at uh, how to debug a small program uh, using a Chrome. Uh, this is a Java, small JavaScript function which is written. So this function uh, hardly does anything. It just the calculates sum. It assumes numbers is an array, and loops around the numbers and uh, adds the sum. So we'll see how to debug this program with a ja uh, with a Chrome. Uh, what I've also done is actually included uh, this particular uh, JavaScript, how to debug dot js uh, in a HTML file, and I've called this function. Uh, and use document and dot write to put that value out to the output. Not ideal, I know that. Uh, I mean, it, it just simply illustrates, it makes it easy to illustrate how to debug stuff. So let's get started. Let's move on to Chrome. If I go to Chrome and run this, run this uh, particular thing, it shows six on the screen because I'm passing in values one comma two comma three. It adds them up and prints six. And let's say I put more values then it adds them up and puts the sum of them so how does this work I mean let's say I want to now debug and see what's happening internally for this so the uh, easiest way to bring up the console is do a right click right click on uh, the Chrome browser uh, and say inspect element so I did inspect element and it brings up this particular bar I mean it might be in a different place just look for it and you should see a bar like this and click the console. So this is the most important part. So once we go to the console, we can do a lot of stuff. I'll just zoom in a little bit so that it's very clear. So this console is the place where you can actually type in a lot of stuff. So I can go here and actually do a little bit of JavaScript as well. So if I want to declare a variable, let's say I want to declare a variable and assign it a value, I can do that. And I can, when I say test, it prints the value of that variable. Yeah. But uh, the thing which we are looking for right now is how to debug. And for that, I would like to go to the sources uh, tab. And the sources tab is right here. And if you go to the sources tab, it shows all the uh, pieces of code. Uh, it shows that I'm in index.html and the scripts which are loaded are here. So it shows all the uh, HT, I mean the current HTML page and then it shows all the scripts which are loaded if I have I was using more than one JavaScript file then it would have listed down all the JavaScripts while in here so I can now go to that particular file uh, and let's say I want to start a, a debug session so I can put a debug point in here so I'm highlighting this line this uh, by clicking on it here so I'm just clicking in here and then that's a breakpoint a breakpoint is something where uh, your code stops executing. So if I run, uh, like if I run this HTML again, I mean, if I run this HTML in the browser again, what Chrome does is it starts executing and it stops executing at this particular point. So it would, uh, 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 if I run this right now, you'd see I'm refreshing this page. Uh, I'm doing a right click reload, make it easy. So now you can see that uh, Chrome is saying paused in debugger. All that I had to do was click on that particular line. So I had to find that particular script. I had to highlight it and then go there and do a left click on there. So once you do a left click, you would see that it's highlighted in uh, blue. So I can add uh, breakpoints, as many breakpoints as I would want. I had a breakpoint down here. And once I do this and I can do a reload of the page, then Chrome would stop execution at that particular point in time. So it would come up to line five and it would stop uh, execution right there. And also the other thing which I can do, I'll zoom out a little bit. There's a, on the right side of the page, you can see there is a lot of stuff which is uh, present on how to 
like to see what are the valuable what are the values which are present uh, since we are in a function the most important thing which would be really useful for us is the local variables you can use you can see all the scope variables also i mean if i had global variables which were present i can see them as part of the scope variables but we are really interested in the local variables here so right now uh, i am interested in sum and i this particular line of code is not really executed yet so i would just pull them a little bit nearby and let's zoom in so that we can see what's happening in much more clearly so yeah if uh, now i execute if i continue execution for this particular thing so that's basically uh, the way to do that is click this button uh it now initializes sum you can see sum is zero and i even though i didn't assign a value to it it's directly initialized to zero so now i can loop through so you can see that uh i is now zero and what uh, the numbers of i is the first element of the array that i passed in so you'd see that this sum value would be incremented so the sum value becomes one and also i is incremented uh, and next you would see that sum value becomes 3 because 1 plus 2 3 and i becomes 2 and uh, the next element is picked up now and sum becomes 6 and next the next element is added 6 plus 5 11 and i is also incremented to 4 so you can see all the stuff which are present in here if i really wanted to add another watch expression i can do that using the watch expressions so i can add a new watch expression in here saying add watch expression and i can say let's just say i want to oops sum into 5 so it shows uh, a per value of a sub particular expression it can be any expression it uh, made of the variables which are available in scope as a that i can also watch i for example so uh, i can watch for different values i can put breakpoints it shows the different list of breakpoints which are present in here as well and you can also put breakpoints on particular elements and stuff but that's more advanced things i guess so as uh, like in this tutorial we looked at how we can use uh, debugging uh, to find out uh, to find out what are the values what are the like how to put a breakpoint uh, how to watch for something and uh, how to see the values of local variables and the variables in this scope um